Starting medical school is one of the most fulfilling moments for students, and rightfully so, because there are so many things that make the start to your medical school career amazing. But there are also things that are a little less exciting about the start of medical school. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is J.R. Smith and I am a second year medical student at the Mayo Clinic. So now that I've completed the first year of medical school, I've gained a bit of perspective and realized that there are some things that I absolutely loved about starting medical school as well as realizing that there were definitely a few challenges. When I was contemplating this topic, I noticed that many things were essentially two sides of the same coin. So some things that may have been a con may eventually become a pro once I realized how to approach it. So hopefully if you're starting medical school soon, you'll be able to use this video to bypass some of the challenges and just enjoy the good stuff. Now there are three things that I absolutely loved and three things that I did not love so much about the first year of medical school. But again, many of these were able to be overcome and I want to emphasize that overall the first year of medical school was incredible. But without further ado, let's get into it. And the first thing that was challenging about the first year of medical school was imposter syndrome. And you've probably heard this over and over again, and you've probably heard me talk about this multiple times myself, but it's real. And I think that students will be affected by this most during their first year of medical school. As students, when you don't really know your classmates yet, and you don't really know where you fit in or how you add up, it becomes easy to believe you're somehow lesser than your classmates. And this is especially the case when each one of your classmates are brilliant and probably used to being the top of their class. But this can put a burden on students and cause anxiety levels to skyrocket, whether consciously or subconsciously, causing students to feel the need to compete with one another in what may be a very toxic way. And this anxiety makes it harder to do well. It makes it harder to perform well on exams. It makes it harder to study and it makes it harder to form meaningful relationships with your peers. But this brings me to the flip side of this coin and one of the greatest things about the first year of medical school, which is being able to network with such incredible people. Now, I may be a bit biased about this, but I do think that people pursuing careers in medicine are pretty cool, and there will come a time during your first year of medical school where you stop feeling jealous or spiteful about your classmates' genius, and you really just start appreciating it. Being surrounded by some of the most brilliant people who are driven to serve others is a blessing, and during the first year of medical school, you are officially joining this community. And again, this is that flip side of imposter syndrome, but the earlier you get to this side and you start appreciating the genius of those around you without forgetting your own, the more you'll be able to enjoy that first year of medical school. And you not only get to network with your classmates, but this stretches into faculty and staff who will serve as educators and mentors, as well as other faculty and medical students around the world. We're ultimately the culmination of our experiences and the influence of those around us. And I can't really think of a better situation than to be surrounded by incredible medical students and healthcare professionals. I never really knew how much the field of medicine felt like a family and joining this family was definitely one of the greatest parts about the first year of medical school. Now, the second thing that was very challenging about the first year of medical school was adapting to the content overload that you are bound to feel. The analogy of drinking water out of a fire hose to describe how challenging it is to learn and retain all of the information that we're supposed to in medical school is very accurate. And as an example of what I'm saying, every pre-medical student takes the course biochemistry before applying to medical school. And at most places, this is a semester long course that stretches from four to five months. And for the most part, every first year medical student takes biochemistry, including everything they learned in college, plus all of the clinical correlations. So we can just call this biochemistry plus. But instead of the four to five months, you have four to five weeks. Pair this with the fact that science is an ever changing field and there will always be new things to learn. And you can see how trying to learn everything becomes impossible. And many students, again, who were top of their class in college, used to acing their exams and knowing 95 plus percent of the material they're given, may struggle with this reality of not being able to know everything. But because many of us are hardwired to try nonetheless, it can become very overwhelming at times. And for some of us, the first year of medical school may be the first time that you're not only acing everything, but the first time that you're actually just struggling to keep up, especially if you're simultaneously feeling that imposter syndrome we talked about earlier. But of course, this challenge also has a flip side, which is one of the best things about the first year of medical school, and it's that you are finally experiencing what feels like purposeful studying. Before college, you may be focused on getting good grades, either so you don't get in trouble or so that you can get into college. And in college, as a pre-med student, you're studying hard, again, maybe so that you don't get in trouble, but oftentimes at this point, it's so that you can become a good medical school applicant. So essentially all of our educational experience up to this point seems forced and it doesn't really come from a place of wanting to learn because it's interesting or wanting to learn because it's gonna directly help us with our career. But during the first year of medical school, it felt like I was finally learning something that was purposeful and something that directly related to what I wanted to do with my life. And because of this, the material was naturally more interesting. It didn't seem as draining for me to study or learn. Now, of course, not everything will be directly related 
relegated to the specialty you choose and a lot of the information will be out of the scope of your interests. But the goal of medical school isn't to train you into becoming a certain specialty, it's to train you to become a doctor, which is what all of us come to medical school to become. And everything you learn will ultimately help you become a better doctor. And as such, studying all of a sudden has a deeper meaning and this was definitely one of the best parts of the first year of medical school. The final challenge related to the first year of medical school that I want to talk about is resource overload. Because there's so much to learn and essentially at this point our job is to study, there are dozens and dozens of resources directed towards helping us with that. The bad thing is during your first year of medical school you probably aren't quite sure how you best learn and as a result you're probably not sure which resources are going to be best for you. And because you're throwing all of these resources all at once, you're likely to feel pressure to try them all which will just make you feel overwhelmed. Pair this with the content overload that you may be simultaneously experiencing and now you're even more overwhelmed. And if you're still battling imposter syndrome and seeing all of your classmates using different resources and study techniques while you're still trying to figure out what best works for you, well now you're overwhelmed, anxious, and probably considering a different career path. But of course there's a flip side to this which will actually make the first year of medical school and your career for that matter incredible. And it's the fact that the perfect resource for you does exist. And once you find that resource you'll be able to study, learn, and retain more efficiently and effectively than you probably ever thought was possible. And it's important to understand that some resources may be better for some courses than others and will have varying levels of effectiveness for everyone. But once you find that resource it's like the waters have parted and learning becomes easier than ever. And one course that you will no doubtedly take during the first year of medical school that a supplemental resource can be extremely helpful for is anatomy. Anatomy is one of the most time-consuming courses that you'll have not only during your first year but over the course of your preclinical years in general. And because of this finding a resource that can help with learning anatomy efficiently is key and this brings me to KinHub who are kindly sponsoring today's video. KinHub has some of the highest quality anatomy and histology videos out there and for my budding radiologists they even have videos covering radiological anatomy to help you read x-rays, CTs, and MRIs. Finding truly effective resources is one of the biggest battles that incoming medical students face. And one thing I'm committed to is giving you guys my honest opinion to help you sort through the noise. And not many anatomy specific resources stack up to KinHub in my opinion. You can check out their YouTube channel to get a sense of their videos where they have a ton of free videos out there. And if you would like full access to all of the other videos that they have, Check out the link in the description and you can get 10% off your membership. Starting medical school definitely comes with its challenges from imposter syndrome to content overload to resource overload. But I hope that by being aware of these challenges, you'll be able to flip the coin and just experience all of the great things that come with the first year of medical school. From networking within an amazing community to purposeful learning to finding resources that make learning easier than ever. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, keep evolving and I'll see you guys in the next one. And <clears throat> and if you're still <sighs> more caffeine.